Oh my god! <laughs> Michigan, huh? yeah. Yes, sir. Man, I do like this shop. I could get used to this. What we got over here? Another fucking Mustang, man. I'm telling you, SN95s are the new thing. All over again. Well, I think we're gonna get the truck unloaded and drop the trailer, if you guys can even hear me, and then probably find some, some more fun to have. It's not like it was gonna stall, and then I was thinking, like, I think I might have to start it again, and then, like, before I was even done thinking that, my hand was already turning, and then the uh, starter on the flex wheel, or the flex plate, had a little disagreement there. <laughs> but it seems like it's good now. And then here's Justin's truck. I dig those fucking wheels, man. I like those a lot. They look good on it. But this is one bad bitch, dude. Justin, show us the truck a little bit. Just show us under the hood of the truck real quick. There you go. What size turbo is that? The 7675 LS like, Series Precision. I was like, damn, that's already pretty big. <laughs> it had a VS uh, racing 78, 76, which I guess is technically bigger by right. measurements, but right. those Chinese turbos measure them different. Right, right, yeah. I noticed that on that Conquest I was telling you about. Yeah, it runs pretty good. I turned the boost up a little bit last night. <laughs> It so gave that knob a little love. I had a customer. We're doing a we're doing a turbo for. A, um, there's a black ram over here. All right. We're doing a turbo to it uh, for a customer, and he was like, "Man, you got to take me for a ride. You got your truck." So I took him for a ride, and he was asking me how much boost it was making, um, and I thought I was on my six pound setting, which is where I just would normally do it. But punched right. it, it made eight pounds, and was skating because the roads are wet, so. <laughs> It was fun though. And like you said, you made all the hot side and cold side and pretty much everything for it. Yeah, so. Yeah, we made everything for it. Uh, good buddy of mine, uh, Jeff Richard, uh, you'll probably meet those guys tonight. All right. Uh, they've got, they're just the masters when it comes to turbos. All right. They, they did it all. I say they did it all, I helped. Right. They did all the, the fabrication part. Right. I like it, man. Like I said last night, I like it a whole lot more than I thought I would. Yeah? And I already knew I was going to like it. <laughs> Those wheels are perfect for it. Yeah, I wanted to... Okay, I had chrome wheels on it. Oh, no. And I had a guy that ran a stop sign and caught me right here. And went all the way down the passenger side. So, uh, they had those chrome wheel, factory chrome wheels on it. Well, uh, I asked the body shop, I was like, hey, 
can I put the, if I pay the difference, can I put different wheels on it? And they told me I could, and then I called the insurance company, and they told me I could, so I bought those. I was looking for them in chrome, because the truck had a lot of chrome on it. Right. And uh, I had to go to a 22, and I didn't want a 22 inch wheel. Yeah, for sure. We did, we, I went with the black ones, I figured, hell, if you come down to it, I could just powder coat them. Yeah. And then that's whenever we, I liked the black look on it, so we did the headlights and stuff like that. So. I've always been a huge fan of white vehicles with black trim and stuff. Yeah. I love it so much. It's done quite a bit out here. What I mean by that is typically you see a white single cab Ram that's all blacked out. Yeah, yeah. And I just wanted something that stuck out, and that's why I kind of stuck with the chrome. Um, you know, obviously, it's got chrome door handles and stuff. Yeah. So. No, dude, I, I think it looks sweet. Chrome right off the bat, but... It's got enough black on it now to where it looks good, and the chrome doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it looks great, man. It's filthy right now. We've been working on it. All <laughs> we had the intake ported earlier this week, or last week, I guess. I like how, like, that's your filthy. <laughs> I've owned that truck for like a year and a half. I've never taken it through a car wash. Really? Never once. Hey, this guy's got nasty dog. Hell yeah. <laughs> I like it. Fun. We'll go out cruising tonight. Yeah. I fucking like that truck, man. All right, Justin and his boys are trying to work, so we're going to hit the road, do a little sightseeing, have a vacation on our vacation. Oh, never mind. We're not going past that. Yeah, I don't think I want them. I can tell they've been driving around it. Yeah. But. I'd rather not deal with that. Yeah. Well, that was another good plan shot to hell. Well, that didn't work. Check out the car. Fucking Lamborghini Huracan right there. Oh. Uh, that's neat. Found ourselves some raceway. That's a need for speed. A little Supra. Supra Dupra. Hell yeah, brother. Horsepower everywhere you look. This is fucking dope. I'm glad we came out today. <laughs> Race wars. That's a nice fucking trailer. That yeah. Lights. Uh, yeah. This guy's got his shit together. But that's not a borrowed trailer. All right, finally made it to TX2K. This should be fun. Let's walk around the pits a little bit first. So I've never seen a Mark IV Supra before in my life. Within the last 24 hours, we've seen four of them. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, and old Papa Trine here has no idea what he's in store for with Leroy. So we're gonna go try and find Cletus real quick. He's gotta be around somewhere. That is a beautiful Integra. What's up? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, you got two of them. This is fucking gorgeous, dude. Wow. That is beautiful. Jesus. The fucking money at this event. Nice Nova. Hell yes. A little NSX hiding in there. I'm pretty interested in that too, man. I didn't realize it was set up like that. Looks like an old uh, Buick, I think. might be my favorite car here. That's pretty fucking dope. Man. That's awesome. That is fucking awesome. That is... That is badass, man. Fred, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you, What's man. What's your man? What's your name? Josh. Great to meet you, Josh. Just met Fred from the 1320 film crew. He was cool. Shook his hand, and then I kind of froze up, and it got awkward real quick, so I walked away. 
He was nice though. How you doing? Just watch your videos. Nice. What's your name? James. I'm Josh. I'm Mike. Mike. This is Chris. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yep. You gonna head out? Yeah. I think I'm. I'm thinking two of the cords. You want two cords? Yeah. That should last me a little while. I want people to know I'm a scumbag. <laughs> Stick those lids in your pockets. Fuck we can yeah. come back in a little bit, can't we? Awesome, right. thank you. All right, man, I fucking love RX-7s now. I'm definitely an RX-7 fanboy. If we can find something good, I'll go get some tools and come back. Uh, all right, we got uh, tired of waiting for them to finish up the track, so we went out and found a junkyard. I don't remember if I already said this or not. But we found a junkyard. a junkyard, and I think they're open until six, which is nice. All right, well, we never found a junkyard to look at. Kind of booted out of that first one, and the one that they recommended us that we could just walk around was about 40 miles away, so we said fuck that. So, came back here to hang out for a little bit. Man, that thing sounds good. Thank you. Sounds good, man. Fucking wicked. Insane. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> 